because there's no brain this whole time, so I might even edit little snippets and do like a blooper reel. Blooper reel. Do you like, want me to be looking at you though, or like straight into the camera? I don't know. That's what I. Hey, just, like, and then I take well, a look. Look at me right now. Well, don't look at me, but where I was. Oh, where you where you were. You were. I, don't know. I think he needs to look inside the camera because it's we're looking at the people we're supposed to be paying for our summer um what do i call it like summer show and funding i was going to say i think the funding the funding should go straight into like because yeah, yeah, you did one where you're talking but she, you're like what do you need oh we we have we'd like because and i forgot also a couple things that we needed it for yeah do you want to you want to do the funding the, yeah. from the funding directly into the camera yeah that makes sense okay is it is it on I have the camera right now just give like a do your um, introductions again. Okay. Hi, my name is Melissa. Sorry, you want to? Yeah, you put this drink down. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Melissa Segarra, and I represent Main Street Opera. Hi, I'm Joaquin Luis, and I'm representing the co-managing diva and Debo of Opera and Tap Chicago. And this is the Indiegogo campaign for our joint collaboration this summer entitled Sh Shadows, Stories, and Songs, which will feature two performances. The first one being El Huespen de Sevillano by Jacinto Guerrero, and the second will be Manuel de Falla's puppet opera, El Retablo de Maise Pedro. It's the first three weekends of August, including, uh, I think it's July 31st? Yeah, July 30th, so it'll be Thursday to Saturday, um, first three weeks of August. Mm -hmm. And including right. the last the last two days of July. Right. And where are these uh, going on? Our first weekend will be at the Ravenswood Presbyterian Church, uh, followed by um, Cultura and Pilsen. Um, and our last uh, bout of performances will be at the Cervantes Institute of Chicago. My personal uh, idea for Opera on Tap Chicago was that we would start collaborating with local productions um, to do to do things, just to give our singers more than just our monthly uh, theme shows, which are tons of fun and are very and a big success. But we wanted to branch out because we know a lot of the opera trained singers want to actually do shows, mm -hmm. want to go and, and perform more and in, in, in different performances. And not only was this a chance to perform, but it's also a chance to perform music that's rarely done, mm -hmm. and that also is kind of a cool thing to say. Hey, opera in Tap Chicago was kind of part of this this rarely done art form that uh, Melissa is so passionate about. We need to fundraise an extra $2,500 in order to cover several costs. Uh, those costs are costumes, sets, transportation, since we will be moving uh, from venue to venue. Um, and uh, in order to really make this show a true reflection of what Sarsuela and Spanish opera can be. Uh, I think it's it's necessary uh, to fundraise this money for those particular uh, um, uh, elements. Mm -hmm. so.